Hello again! Seems it's already time for another update. And just a couple of days ago I have released a new video here on my channel about set automation in stop motion. So if you haven't seen that already, go check it out here. That one was quite a bit of work last month and I think it's especially interesting for all the stop motion people among you. And also there are quite a few new beauty shots from my movie hidden throughout that video. So one of the first things we did in February was actually in preparation for that video. Um, we set up all the automated parts of the human boss's office, that being the two bellows inside the desk and the lighting in the bellows and the oven in between. Um, those can now all be controlled directly through Dragonframe, which is really convenient. And it was really cool to have it up and running for the first time and see how everything moves and comes together. So besides some other minor details, we have also finished the remaining wall parts for that set. But those really look a bit unspectacular at the moment. Um, I'm pretty sure after we attached them to the set and hung up all the little paintings and other details, they will look much nicer, of course. What else? Um, Mona, the animator, has done some more animations on the main office set. Basically, two more close-up animations of the human's hands doing some office work, um, organizing and stamping. Um, nothing too special, but I'm really pleased with the results and it's really nice to have some progress in seconds as well. Um, and I myself also did another animation, um, a close-up from the human's pocket watch, which was quite special to me and I think I had to do it myself because it was an extreme close-up animation. like really pushing the limit of what's possible to do manually. Um, I was using basically my own pulse and a sharpened toothpick to move those tiny wheels around. And yeah, the result is not perfect, but I think for the scale it's good enough. And if you want to see some more details and results from those animations, I will use them as this month's image and animation reward on Patreon. So if you're interested, go check that out here. So those three animations were now finally the last ones from the main office set and I'm quite relieved they are finished and ready to be put in storage and everything. And also that we will have some more space available in the living room now, um, ready to build the next set I suppose. So another great thing in February was the arrival of some new 3D printed parts by Thomas Meissner, who's so kind to help us out here with his industrial grade 3D printer. That's really awesome, thank you so much. So this here is a first test batch of some 3D printed molds for mouth replacements and the head itself, as well as some skull shapes for our next human puppet. First I had them at my workshop to add those little metal cylinders to have the two parts of the molds perfectly matched together and also to do some filing and sanding where it was necessary. And then I sent them off to Ulrich who now did some test casts with those pieces. By the time I'm recording this I didn't have a chance to see the results myself yet, so I'm quite excited, but hopefully I'm able to add some first images or videos later in the editing. So besides our main progress towards the next big shoot, um, Inka has also started working on the post-production of the old office scenes again, which is really nice to have some progress there as well. And I myself spent a bit more time tinkering on my thread cutting machine, which I introduced in the last update video. Um, not too much progress there, I am mainly waiting for parts to arrive now, but I was able to do a bit more programming and I now can drive a stepper motor extremely fast and precise, which is quite exciting, but nothing special so far. Mm -hmm. 
Um, let's see what I can tell you next month about this. So yeah, I think that's about it for today. Um, see you next time. Bye bye.